excited to be uh, with you for another day. Today it will look different and it'll be shorter than typical. Um, but the most high told me about 10 months ago to um, start praying. So that is what I have been doing. It's what I am doing. And so until he tells me otherwise, that is my mission, my focus, my goal. That's what I'm doing. And um, I don't plan on, on changing. And so whether I'm home, whether I'm away, regardless of what's going on in my life, I want to be obedient to what he's trying to do. Father, you are the lifter of the bow down head, and I, I pray that you lift heads on today. Father, I pray that you open eyes and that you open ears on today. Father, I pray that people would take the gift that you've given us of today, the ability to be able to rest. I pray, Father, that they will take advantage of the rest that you give us. When everyone else is telling us to go, 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 do, 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 be, 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 and all the other things that the world is telling us, you give your beloved rest. And so, Father, I am praying that my brothers and sisters receive the beautiful gift of rest that you so freely um, give to us. Hallelujah. And so, Father, I am just praying that you would continue to uh, be with us on today. Um, those that are traveling near and far, that you would give us travel. 
traveling grace. It's for those that are rearing um, children and, and grandchildren that you would give us the grace um, to love and store them well, Father. Everything that we have is a gift from you, and everything that we have, you've given us to store. May we store it well, Father. Sometimes we want something else or we don't like what we had, but chances are if we would do a better job of what we have, we might be able to get something more and something different. So, Lord. So, Father, we just thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Uh, we give you praise, Father. I am praying for the sick. I'm praying for the babies. I'm praying for the orphans and the widows. I'm praying for the lost. I'm praying for the brokenhearted. I'm praying for those who are experiencing some really hard seasons and situations in life. And, Father, I pray that you would lighten their load. I pray that you would send angels to minister to them, to um protect them to guide them to lead them let's get this other alarm i'm just praying father that thy will be done we'll leave it alarm. that thy will be done in our lives and that we just continue to yield to you and to your leading and to your prompting and to what you're saying for us in our lives i pray that we give you another yes that we give you a yes Will we surrender to your will and to your way? Yes. Will we forsake all other and trust you? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Straight and narrow is the path. There is a way that seems right to man, but then an end that will lead to his destruction. So we want to be on the straight and the narrow. Hallelujah. And Father, it is my prayer on today that we repent. And that we get it right. That we take a low place and we bow before you and say, Abba, create a clean heart in me and renew a right spirit. Forgive me for all the things I've said, all the things that I've done, all the things that, that I shouldn't have participated in. That I shouldn't have given time and energy and space to, but I did. Forgive me. Forgive me. Like I said, create a clean heart in me and renew a right spirit. That's the prayer. That's the posture. So that we can hear you. And so that you can be pleased. And so that you can say, that's my son. That's my daughter. And so that all the glory and all the honor can come to you. And you can be lifted high in our lives. Hallelujah. Father, I'm praying for the orphans and the widows and the dealers and drug addicts and hospitals and hospitals. Soldiers are praying for peace around. We're speaking peace over our friends, over our enemies. We are speaking peace and that your will be done. Hallelujah. Father, we're asking for protection. We're asking for protection for our soldiers. We're asking protection from dangers seen and unseen physical and spiritual. We just ask that you would cover us. Cover us with your precious, precious blood, blood of Yeshua. We thank you for your blood that was shared for us, Father. Thank you for loving us so much that you went to Thank you so much for being our peace, for being our Yah, for being everything that we need. We give you glory. prayers that you keep the baby safe as they're going to school and that you would give us all strength for the journey ahead and as we begin to embark upon this time of rest my prayer then is that you father would show us how to rest and to rest in you what do we need to put down what do we need to pick up what's hindering us what didn't we do good at this week and what do we excel at and what is your plan for us for next week so we just want to get in your presence and and talk to you, fellowship with you, and catch up with you, so to speak. So, Father, thank you. Thank you for this time that we can worship you, that we can read of you, learn of you, that we can just be in your presence. Better is one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
want you and show them what they can do to get them out of the situation they're in. So we love you, we bless you, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. In the name of the